Welcome back, everybody. I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to play some more Genshin Impact. So, the last episode was just kind of a relaxing, just kind of collecting stuff, getting some materials, exploring some more of the map, that kind of thing. And this time, we're going to go ahead and continue on with the main story. So, let's just jump right into it. So, let's see. Reunion with the Dragon. So, we're supposed to head to Star Snatch Cliff. Luckily, I got a waypoint that was somewhat close to it. This domain was locked, so I wasn't able to get this as a waypoint, but oh well. Luckily, I think we're getting close to being able to unlock some of these domains. Yeah, because see, we're Adventure Rank 15, and I think it's 16 that some of them start to unlock. So, yeah. Let's see. Oh, I just love the map. It's so pretty. Pick some fruit. Been interesting. There's not really any enemies over here. Up oh, there. Spoke too soon. <laughs> Wonder what level these guys are. Oh, these guys are wimps. I say that as I totally miss. Yeah, that new passive build I got where I send out a little wind blade on the last hit of the combo. That's doing some pretty good damage. Last episode, it helped us quite a bit with the electro hypostasis. Ooh, lots of ore. Let's use Razor to collect it all at once. Ooh, no. It rolled down the cliff. Oh, well, I'm not going after all the little bits. Let's see. It says there's an animunculi nearby. Is it, like, way up in the air? No. <laughs> Oh, there you are, you little sneak, hidden right on- they're not usually on the ground like that, huh? <laughs> little sneak. Mark it on the map. No, I think we're only like three away from getting a- ooh, a tr sorry, squirrel. Well, treasure. Uh, anyways. Yeah, we're not- I think we're only like three away now from getting, um... That was random. Um, from getting the, uh, next upgrade of the statue. Which will definitely be nice to have more stamina. I know we only get like 8 stamina per level, but hey, it starts to add up after a while. Because I think I'm already at like 130 or 140 stamina. A reward on the road. So definitely help me. <laughs> Wait for the stamina to recharge. And like I said, it's so much nicer whenever you've collected all of them. Having like 250 stamina really helps a lot. Okay, let's see. Collect all these. You never know what character is going to need these, except I think these are needed for Venti to ascend, which he's not available right now since he's an event character. I really hope they do a rerun of him again soon, because even on my personal account, I really wouldn't mind getting another one of him so I can get his constellation, because his constellations are actually pretty good. But, anyways. Everyone is finally here. What a view! Lovely for a faded reunion, isn't it? Well, we must be prepared for a fight. Regardless of the outcome, things finally seem to be taking a turn for the better. Mondstadt has really been going through so much recently. Huh. In the end, the solution to our problem was as simple as a traveler in a song. I suppose the Knights of Favonius may have played a part in it too. Oh, we get it, Master Diluc. Everyone, please step aside. I, the best wandering bard of the mortal world, shall begin my performance with the Holy Liar. of your yearning for this song. We are communicating. Huh? No! Don't get bored! Do not be fooled by him, dear dragon. He lets you to rot alone. Now, he attempts to deceive you once more. 
Venti, please, be careful. <laughs> You've known my true identity for some time now, haven't you, Jean? Though, I thank you for continuing to use the name Venti. How's the Holy Liar? Can it still be played, or does it need to be repaired? <sighs> Unfortunately, I think it's beyond repair. Devalin is in a lot of danger. No. We should make that Abyss Mage pay first. If we don't fight the evil at its source, then we can't save Devalin at all. In which case, I shall call upon Outrider Amber to track it down. No need. Why is that? I eradicated one not long ago, in one of the Four Winds temples. What? When? If you want to track those monsters down, then I'll seek answers from my contacts. I've got other means for getting the job done. Do you look? Though he dislikes the Knights of Favonius, he protects Mondstadt in his own way. Oh? Why does our little Paimon sound so doting all of a sudden? <laughs> Wait for my word. I'll be sure to let the Abyss Order know that their blatant disregard for Mondstadt will not go unpunished. Ooh, d gets pissed. Was our sister with the enemy? And why do they call her your highness? Oh, hey, we finally got a domain. And co op. Oh, that's. I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> and we got a reach adventure rank 18. So sorry, guys. I guess we probably should have done last episode. We should have just continued the main story because then we would have just had to side quest. Okay, that's on me. So I guess this is going to be another side questing episode. Sorry, guys. Um, there are various ways to obtain adventure EXP and raise your adventure rank, whether it be completing various quests, looking for chests, completing investigations in your adventure handbook, revitalizing leyline blossoms. You can obtain adventure EXP from these activities and increase your adventure rank. More challenges and opportunities will open up to you as your adventure rank increases. Okie dokie. Ooh. I did get something that will let me constellation my main character. So now my R2 will actually pull in enemies. That's useful. So there's that. Um, it's telling me to open the co-op screen. We'll just go ahead and close that. I tend not to play co-op very often. So, I, I mean, it's not, I remember though, whenever the game first came out, it was really janky. But they definitely improved it, but like I said, I tend not to play co-op too often, usually only during, like, events and stuff. But I might, if you guys really want to play together, I might actually be open to that as a possibility. So we'll see what the future holds. Um, yeah, so we gotta do some side questing, it looks like. And Catherine has something to tell me, so now I gotta go talk to Catherine. And... Haha, <laughs> finally, domains. And this probably this was level 20, yeah, so... At least it's in my book now, but we can go ahead and do some of the domains now and get some of that stuff done at least. But yeah, let's go ahead and go and talk to Catherine and Mondstadt because she says she wants something. And go ahead and collect our rewards while we're there. That's crazy though. Why the heck is our sister with the enemy? Why are they calling her your highness? Why is she like in charge? Ad Astra Abyss. 
Okay, first I'll claim my reward, and then I'll see what you want. There we go. So we gotta make it to 18. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Okay, Catherine. Any new commissions? Greetings, adventurer. The tales of your deeds are known, now known to all in Mondstadt. Continue in this fashion, and you are destined to become one of the great adventurers of our age. Got anything for me to do? If you wish to become a great adventurer, there comes a time when you must move beyond the places you know. Now you have amassed such a wealth of adventuring experience, perhaps it is time for you to explore somewhere new. Take this letter and deliver it to Leaway Catherine. Should I call you Mondstadt Catherine in the future, then? If it helps advance your adventuring career, call me whatever you like. Anyway, once Leaway Catherine has this letter, she will be your point of contact there for all your adventuring needs. Of course, whenever you are back in Mondstadt, I will still be delighted to be of service. I would ask that you refrain from opening the letter en route. If anything were to fall out, it could cause complications. Adventurer, the time has come for you to take the next step towards the stars in the abyss. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Okay, so basically this is telling me that I can now head to Leoweth. Which I don't remember them letting you do that before you... Well, I mean, I knew it was always open from the beginning, but I don't remember getting the quest to do it before you finish this part of the main story, but I guess they do. So, yeah, we got a few things we could do. We could technically head over to... Is it going to let me clear this out? Good. Okay, now it's cleared out. Um, anyways, is it going... We could either head over to... Liyue, or we could go ahead and do this side quest. I think I might do this one, because it'll be some good action. Because, like I said, I want a little more action in this episode. So, let's head over to... Oh, what should we go... Okay, let's go do this domain just real quick. It shouldn't take too long. Since I don't really have too many characters anyways that can use this kind of level up material. Forgot, where am I supposed to... This way. Also, that'll give us the teleport point to straight to the domain. Let's see. Yeah, hopefully that quest don't take too long. Especially because that chick... I remember last time we talked to her. What was her name again? It was Dr... Uh, crap, I can't remember what her name was now. But man, she could talk. Ooh, she just never shut up. Let's see. There we go. Open the domain. Now it's a teleport point. And we want to go ahead and do this once. Go ahead and stick with my normal team. And voila. Leyline Disorder. Your characters will periodically be periodically inflicted with slowing water, greatly increasing your skill's cooldown duration until the inflicted hydro element is removed. It's yeah, so basically some domains have little like things like some of them are like oh all characters do extra physical damage or all characters will be inflicted with frost causing them to move slower and not regenerate stamina as quickly or use more stamina or something like that so just be aware of that whenever you bring characters in so this is a water domain which is why it recommended those elements to me so chong yun is going to be like way strong here and since this ice circle gives everybody else ice yeah, see, this is going to be a piece of cake. Yeah, some of the later domains can be really, like, a pain in the butt. But once you kind of get the hang of them and figure out what characters you need to bring and, like, the order you want to do them in and whatnot, it it's not too difficult. A lot of this game is just basically getting in a routine is what I found. At least that's kind of the way I play. Let's see, can we gather them all up? Ooh, okay, send them all flying. I was hoping to gather them all up and then do that, but oh well, send them flying way too far. And there we go. And that's all it takes to beat a domain. Now, yeah, that was one of the lower level ones, and I'm a bit over leveled for it, but like I said, domains aren't too difficult because they're made to be ran over and over and over again to basically do that to gather materials. Ooh, I forgot I got double stuff for the the returning thingy event, whatever. That is nice. So there, we got plenty to last us a while now. So go ahead and give that to Chong Yun. Ascend his weapon. Oh, dang it, I can't ascend it yet. Duh. I need these, which are dropped by enemies in Liyue. And I need these, which are dropped by rune guards, which I've only come across a few so far, so never mind. At least we have it for the future, I guess. I don't know why I had it in my head that I had all this stuff for him. 
I mean, I could probably, yeah, I have enough to do hers, but hers is only a level three, uh, three star, and I, I'm not wasting materials on a three star. So, oh well. Okay, so that was a bit of a waste, but at least we got the teleport point. That'll come in handy later. So we need to head over to the gorge then. So according to her, the three, we've got one of the hilly trail camp things. Smell of treasure. Which was the one over that direction. So we just need the other two camps. So there should be one over to the left here. And then I'll go across the one over to the right. Do, 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 do. I really like this area. It's so pretty. It kind of sucks because there's not a whole lot of waypoints here. So it's a little hard to get through this area. Like if you have a... Well, whatchamacallit. A, oh, a daily quest over in this area. Because the only teleport point is basically that one back there. It's just such a pretty air, and it's so cool looking. Yeah, I see that animonculus up there. I can't really get to it until I take the bubble down. Right. Hey, dude, go down. Take down the guards. I guess I don't technically have to fight these guys. And we do want to get the adventure XP from finishing, because I don't know. I think you get adventure EXP from killing enemies, but I don't think it's a whole lot. Ooh. That says there was an animonculus. Right here? It's in the middle of these. Yep, it's in the middle of the air. I gotta climb up to get it. Yeah. I'm gonna get that before I forget it, and seriously? I wasn't even close. To, I was like right next to you, you didn't see me, and then I these walked away and you saw me. Useful? Hey. Yeah, Razor, they're not super useful. <laughs> right. Ooh, there's a guy up here. <laughs> Slice and dice. And bye. <laughs> he went flying. Okay, so we should be high enough now to get it. Yep. Ooh, and there's one of those. I don't think I have any keys, though, right? Do I have a key? Let's see. Do I have a key? I do not have any keys. Okay. There we go. Mark it on our map. Now I think we're only two away from getting another stamina upgrade. Okay, so there's the arena, which is where the, she said the locking mechanism was. Yeah. And then I gotta challenge him and beat him to get the, uh, the locking mechanism. So let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, look at all the chests into the fray. Okay, so it's ice enemies. So Chong Yun isn't gonna be doing much here. You gotta be careful, I'm now coated with water. These water guys can be annoying too, because I believe whenever they do that rainfall thing, it actually heals their teammates, which can be super annoying whenever you're fighting like a really big guy and you don't notice one of these guys. And they're just there constantly healing them. Oh, now electric guys? One with my blade. There we go, Chung Yu. That's some damage. Aha! Uh oh. I did not mean to do that. Let's see, can I hit him from behind with these? It wasn't too bad. Yeah, it did not bring any fire, so this could be a bit of an issue. Let's see. Oh, good, the wind hits through it. Oh, thank goodness. That could have ended really badly. Let's go ahead and activate this and then collect all our chests. So that's two bubbles down, one bubble left. Hmm, where'd that hilly trail go? That was right here. Hmm. Is this an answer from this world? Yeah, I see nothing too amazing in any of these chests. So this one has some better, it's a bit better of a chest. Yeah, it's got some blue items, and so better. Get some Primo gems and experience, though. That's good. So there we go. So now the last bubble switch thing, I believe, is in that camp right across the way over there. Right. So we'll just make our way that way. Just kind of avoid the enemies. You know, it's funny, as I could have swore this quest took a lot longer the first time I did... Well, then again, the first time I did this, I was so confused. Because <laughs> the yeah. game had only been out for a few days and everything, and... <laughs> It's hard to believe that this game has been out for over a year now. Let's see, just click these while I'm here. I'm pretty sure it's up in this one, because I believe I got the encampment that was up the hill that way. I think. Or is this the one I got? No, I'm I don't remember 
Yeah, no, I didn't do this one because this is the one. Is this? There's usually a rune guard over here. Yes. Yes. No. Okay. No. There's usually a daily quest where you have to fight a rune guard here, but this should be easy. Oh come on! Hit me out of my ice attack, dude. Ooh, another season's greetings. I wonder why I got it multiple times. Yeah, this is a fish over. Electric also would have been really powerful here, but because of being in the water. That's why I like the daily quest that's there, because it's so easy, because with the water there, ice characters and electro characters just shred. Okay, where's... there's the chest. And, of course, they froze me. These things... useful? Some good stuff. Ooh. It says there's an animunculi over here. Perfect. And now whenever we get that one where the dome used to be, we should have enough to also upgrade a statue. Awesome! See? Even though we got told we couldn't continue forward with the main story, we're still having a very productive time. Let's see if I can make it out of here without getting hit again. Ooh, chest, chest. Yeah. Right. I'm so glad you can't set chests Is on fire, because I probably would have destroyed so many chests. Okay, we gotta go talk to her again, don't we? Hopefully she'll keep it short and simple this time. I'm hoping. No, we don't have to. Or, nope. Wait. Now it's telling us to just go collect the treasure. Oh. Maybe she'll make us talk to her after we collect it. Ooh, this is a nice chest. A luxurious. A reward on the road. Ooh, yes. Oh, I was so hoping we would get one of those. Okay, so the Northlander Claymore billet will allow us to craft a. Ooh, we got some purple artifacts. Up. Anyway, sorry. Um, I forgot this had such good stuff in it. Um, it'll allow us to craft. Um, uh, Claymore. And the crafted Claymore at the blacksmith is, in my opinion, some people think it's really bad for him, but I like it a lot for Razor. It's the one that I run on my main Razor. I've even refined it to five and everything. It's, like, really good, in my opinion, for him. But, yeah, so... Oh, I might as well, should I get... Yeah, I should probably get these sealies while I'm here, because they're all just floating around on these towers. And then we'll go and craft that weapon. And I'll probably change the artifacts out between episodes, because like I said, you don't want to sit there and watch me just literally read through menus for ten minutes straight. <gasps> Getting lots of achievements, too. Ooh, frog, frog. Come here. Haha, -ha, frog. There we go. Ceiling number two. Yeah, I remember I cheated a lot on a lot of these, because... I got my- I actually got a venti, like, I got super lucky, and, I mean, I had to practically hit pity to get venti, but I was able to get a venti whenever he first came out. I thought there was a Sealy up here in my- oh, no, he- over there? Um, anyways, I got venti, and venti is, like, way, way, way overpowered, because his, um, whatchamacallit? Come on. Oh, come on, dude, really? I am just short. What do you want me to do? I don't know what to do. Do I need to maybe activate that fire thing right there? Um, anyways. But Venti can really cheat the game because his, uh, his R2, if you hold it down, he creates a wind current that lifts him up into the air and you can use it to glide and fly and everything. And so, if something is just out of reach for you, I don't know if that was just for a chest. If something is just out of reach for you, you can literally just glide and get it. It's so easy. So, for a good portion of the game, he totally just, like, cheats Understood. it. So, anyways. Trevor, how am I supposed to get that seal? Is this an answer from... Oh, viewpoint? This world? There we go, he's dead. Because I could have swore I was just supposed to climb up here. And then I would just... Glide over. Oops, that was a fail. Probably doing this totally wrong. I could probably just actually, now that I think about it, if I just. I really don't want to have to climb up there, though, but if I just climb up on one of the cliffs, I could probably. Is that waypoint on top of the cliff, or where's it at? Is it closer? Let's see. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. Okay. Here we go. I should hopefully make it, because I just gotta get close enough to him to activate him again. Ooh, it's gonna be close. And, haha, got you. That's probably what they wanted you to do. 
But anyways, like I said, I usually just used Venti and just, like, lifted myself into the air on all these. Totally cheated it. And there we go, another precious chest. A reward Some on the fun road. stuff. Awesome. And then we'll go ahead and... We'll first stop at one of the statues in order to level it up, because now we should have enough of the animunculi. Worship statue. Yep. Only need four more. There we go. So now my stamina is at 138. Awesome. Getting closer and closer. Perfect. Yeah, I only need eight for the next level. Ooh, and I got something from my adventure notebook. Ooh, I got a key. Oh, now I got a key. Where was it that I saw that? Uh, what you call it? The, 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 the depths room. Is it over here? Okay, I saw it whenever we were... We were climbing something and I saw it. Gosh, I can't remember for the life of me now. Because I don't think I've opened any of them yet. Yeah, basically, the... You use those keys to unlock those little rooms that... I think there was... It might be right up on this. Um, they're little rooms that basically... You have to have one of the keys to unlock. There's only so many on the map and everything. And whenever you unlock them, they have a really high level chest in them with like a whole truckload of loot. So. Ooh, yeah, stamina's definitely a lot higher now. But they're. Like I said, there's only so many on the map, so they're not like everywhere. But you definitely want to open them whenever you find them. They're useful, good loot, blah, 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 that whole thing. And also, I think you have to open so many of them for uh, adventure handbook quest. But yeah, so see, you just click open. I have a key now, so use my key. And you get different keys depending on which region you're in, so I have to have a Mondstadt key to open a Mondstadt shrine. And now I get the Luxurious Chest, and look at all this loot. Oh, yeah. Lots of fun stuff. And now that did probably, yep, unlock Shrine of Depths. So that also unlocked that. There we go. And we're getting closer and closer to level 17, which is awesome. And we'll go ahead and teleport back here and get Razor his sword. <laughs> yeah, the billets are kind of hard to come by because I think the only places they drop are either from quests or from um, boss fights. But yeah, there's bosses that you can repeat. Not like the boss fights like the hypostasis, but boss fights like... I don't want to spoil anything, but basically there's like four major boss fights, I believe, that are repeatable that give you really good stuff. But you can only get prizes from them like once a week. Kitoki, have him make me... Oh, I'm missing the stuff to make it, aren't I? Uh, yeah, because I need the prototype or cake. Oh, dear. I'm going to need a lot of materials. These will just come with time because I have my, uh, whatchamacallit, my expedition characters out looking for this stuff. But these are going to take a while because, as it says right there, they're found in the Storm Terror's lair location. We haven't gotten there yet. So these are just kind of found everywhere. There's quite a few of them everywhere, but like I said, I have my expedition people constantly collecting them. So, yeah, that's gonna be a little while before we get that. So that kind of sucks, but, oh well, it is what it is. So let's see, what else do we... Oh, it might as well, while well, I'm in there, actually. Go ahead and just collect this. There we go. We're actually getting closer and closer to unlocking that Barbara, I think. Isn't it at, like, 18? Yep, we're getting real close to unlocking Barbara. Which I'll probably run her on my team instead of Ningguang. One, because with Razor and Chagyun, she'll pair really nicely with. And two, she's a good healer. Especially early on when she's the only healer that you'll have. Um, yeah, so we don't really have a whole lot of side quests. I guess we could always, these always give, I mean, there's not really a whole lot of uh, adventure EXP, but um, we might actually head off to Leo Way. We might go through and off camera, I might even, I don't know. I'll kind of have to think about it, but might go through and collect the, not collect, but activate the other waypoints and stuff that I can in Mondstadt. And then we might, in the next episode, just head over to Liyue. Because I'm thinking that might be our best bet, because that'll give a lot of experience, and there's a lot more to discover over there, and we'll be able to get some level up stuff to actually level up our other characters. <sighs> Since I believe it's at Adventure Rank 20 is your first time to get your world level up, so we're actually not that far off from that, so we'll want to get most of our characters ascended. 
So, and I don't think, do we have enough Primo gems? No, nope. we're about halfway to a, a 10 pull on that. And then we're actually about that far off on a 10 pull on that. Just, yeah, okay. So I'm thinking we're gonna call it there. Again, I know this was kind of a not very eventful episode, but there, we're kind of at a weird area where you need to grind and I'll probably get the adventure XP from doing like dailies and stuff and whatnot. But we'll see what happens between now and next recording that I do. But we'll go ahead and leave it there for now. Whenever we come back next time, we're either going to head off to Liyue or we're going to do some side questing here, like some of the story quests and whatnot. I'll kind of decide depending on, you know, what we're looking to do. Because I'm thinking the leeway might be a better option. But anyways, I digress. Again, I'm rambling. So thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to like it. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I look forward to hearing from you guys. And remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me in the future. Until next time, see ya!